Welcome everybody to Pokemon Fire Red episode 38. In the last episode, we defeated not only our rival Friezen, but we also defeated the very last gym leader of the game, Giovanni, the leader of Team Rocket. Now we find ourselves on Route 23, heading towards the Elite Four, the Indigo Plateau, the Pokemon League, all of those things. You can pass here only if you have the Cascade Badge. Oh, that is the Cascade Badge. Okay then, please go right ahead. So we're just gonna jump into it. Let's take a look at the Pokemon though that we can find on this route. Route 23 is an interesting route that doesn't actually have any new Pokemon in it. It does to an extent because these are Pokemon that you couldn't have caught in the wild. Uh, now you can. These are the evolved form of Pokemon that we have seen earlier. It's actually pretty fitting that one of the last routes in the game is home to the evolved form of some of the earliest Pokemon we could find. So the first Pokemon that we'll look at is number 28 in the Pokedex, Sandslash. Sandslash is a ground type Pokemon. It evolves from Sandshrew at level 22. So if you're playing Leaf Green, and you wanted a Sand Slash, you probably already have one. You could have had one for a very long time. It, of course, is exclusive to Leaf Green with a 5% encounter rate. Catch rate is 90. Those stats are okay. Uh, I do think there are um, better Pokemon that do the job. However, this is one of the pure ground types that you're going to want. I do think that Diglett can fill a niche a little bit better than a Sand Shrew and Sand Slash can. But if you don't have a ground type, you really want one. Uh, now is not the best time to pick it up because ground isn't going to be super useful in the Elite Four, but I I would, I guess, pick it up, at least fill your Pokedex, right? The next Pokemon that we'll look at is the Virgin exclusive to Fire Red of Sandshrew, which is Arbok, the evolved form of Ekans. It is, stays a pure poison type, just like Sandshrew is a pure ground type. 5% encounter rate, just like uh, Sandslash. However, its stats are actually worse than... Uh, Sandshrew, it does have, they do have the same stat total, if I'm not entirely mistaken. Uh, now, Arbok will come with two abilities, Shed Skin or Intimidate. I personally would choose Intimidate, um, although Shed Skin can also be useful, but Intimidate will actually be useful all of the time, especially if you can force switches and whatnot uh, on your team. Now, its stats really don't help it. Its move pool really doesn't help it. Like I said with Ekans, Arbok is just not a good Pokemon. This one, I can't recommend at all because it will be totally useless in the Elite Four. Uh, I don't... It just looks really cool. It's one of my favorite designed Pokemon, but it's just so bad. Just so bad. And finally, a Pokemon that I actually can recommend and have recommended in the past is Primeape, the evolved form of Mankey. Now, it does only have a 5% encounter rate here, but once we get to the next dungeon, uh, it actually has an increased encounter rate. It gets... It's easier to find by five more percent, but just thought I'd let you know. It does only come with one ability, Vital Spirit. Prevents the Pokemon from falling asleep. Not a big deal. Uh, its move pool is very good. Its attack is 105. Its speed is 95. There are, like I've said before, faster and stronger fighting types, but if you still don't have one and you want to pick up a fighting type now, Primeape is actually very good. It gets better once it gets access to some more abilities and a better move pool, but in this game, like I said before, you could have got a Mankey at your first time in Viridian. Uh, if you don't have a fighting, I recommend it. Pick it up. Pick it up. Alright, so like I said, nothing totally new going to be coming. Uh, most of the Pokemon, all of the Pokemon that we will see from this point forward are evolutions of Pokemon that we've already seen before. Now, I also wanted to show you guys that I did some stuff off screen. You'll notice that we now own 105 Pokemon. Uh... All of the Pokemon, pretty much, for the most part, that we can get in this version of the game, we do have. Uh, there are some things that I'm missing, such as a Golbat, which we haven't gone over yet, but we will go over soon. Uh, we are missing a Primeape, which we will catch on this route. Uh, and we are missing a Machoke, which we could have caught him before. We will catch him soon. And that is pretty much all of the Pokemon that you can get. A Graveler. Uh, those are the Pokemon that I can get, for the most part in uh in fire red so that's what we're going to be doing that's what i did also off screen i trained some of my pokemon up in my training spot uh you'll see that most of my pokemon are level 50 
I kind of stopped once they hit level 50. Bruce and Luna are not quite there yet. Uh, Luna was not the best at my training spot because it's a lot of fighting type Pokemon, uh, but it's worth mentioning that she was at least there. Uh, I also have Dragonair in my party. That is simply because uh, I'm going to actually switch it with, oops, switch it with Bahamut just so you guys know. Dragonair is not in my party. I'm just leveling it using experience share uh, so that we can get a Dragonite and, and kind of fill our decks. Oh, that is the Thunder Badge. If you're wondering where that Dragonair came from, it is actually uh, just a Dratini that I evolved while I was training. I just threw it in my party with an experience share and just kind of did it that way. So there is an item right here. Obviously, we're right next to it. I don't know why I accidentally hit that. Whoops. Right there, we can find a Lepo Berry. And continue on. All right. There's nothing here. We haven't gotten to the grass and where you can actually find stuff. Oh, that is the rainbow badge. Now, it's worth mentioning that you do need surf to get through this area. There it is, right there. Uh, would I like to surf? Yes, please. You're not going to find anything different in the water that you couldn't have found already. Uh, there's no items or anything. This guy is just stuck sitting. I don't know where. I don't know. I guess this guy also might have a Pokemon that he surfs on. You can pass here only if you have the soul badge. Yes, we do. We got that from Koga. Okay, then. Please go right ahead. I'll end a battle with a Psyduck. Who cares? All right. Uh, one second. All right. So I did some fishing real quick because you can actually get a Poliwhirl. Uh, and I traded my only Poliwhirl, obviously, for uh, right in the center of this island, if I'm not mistaken, is another hidden item, which is a Max Ether. Always good to get those. Uh, there's no more items on here, but worth mentioning. And I don't think there's any others. So we'll continue. You can pass here only if you have the Marsh Badge. We have the Marsh Badge. I believe we got that from... Uh, the Marsh Badge was from Sabrina, right? The Teenage Witch. There is nothing else that we can get. I'm just checking. There are some very, very, uh, f few items that you can get here. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this item is actually right here. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Okay. And we got an Ultra Ball. So, at least, at least, you know, at least we're getting free items. Right? Not a big deal. And obviously we can see where that one is. So there is some, f there are a few items here, uh, but luckily for you, you don't need to use an item finder if you're playing along or, or whatever, uh, because you can see it. We get an asper asparagus berry. Not very tasty. Not very tasty. And a makey. So you can still get the pre-evolved forms if for whatever reason you want them. I don't know why you would. Volcano Badge. We do have the Volcano Badge, of course. We got that, of course, from Blaine. No items there, even though it does look like there might be one. No items there as well. And there is an item. I believe it's literally on this rock. If we search right here, we will... One full restore. All right, baby. Full restore is good. I'll take that. I'll take a full restore any day. Uh, obviously, rocks like this typically have Pokemon. You can pass here only if you have the Earth Badge, our final and eighth badge that we got in the last episode. And right here is a pretty important cave. We'll just read this sign. Victory Road Gate, Pokemon League. This is Victory Lo Ro Load? Victory Load. That sounds gross. The final dungeon of Pokemon, Fire Red and Leaf Green. Sort of. Victory Road. Alright, so let's go over the Pokemon that we can find right here. On Victory Road. So the first Pokemon that we're going to look at that's available here on Victory Road is the evolved form of Cubone Marowak, number 105 in the Pokedex. It is a pure ground type Pokemon, and I actually do believe that it's better than Sand Slash. Now, you might not agree with me on that one, but if it's holding its thick club ability, it makes it super strong. Its attack is much better than Sand Slash. Its defense is higher, its speed is very low, but Marowak is actually a pretty tanky Pokemon, all things considered. It can take physical hat, uh, hits like they're nothing, and its ability, Rockhead, will make it so that it can also hit really hard with uh, moves like Double Edge and things that take recoil damage. Uh, so if you want to pick up a Marowak and you don't already have one, you didn't pick up a Cubone all the way back in uh, Lavender Town in the Pokemon Tower, I'd say go ahead, pick one up now. It's got a 5% encounter rate here in Victory Road. The next Pokemon that we'll look at is Golbat. Golbat is a poison flying type Pokemon. It's the evolved form of Zubat, and it is just awful. The only stat that it really has going for it is that base 90 speed. It's also a 5% encounter rate, uh, although I will say that I feel like I encountered it a lot more than uh, 5%. 
just saying. Now, its evolved form, Crobat, isn't available until we get the National Pokedex, which we will be receiving actually in a couple of episodes. So, uh, you could have gotten a Zubat super early in the game if you have one. By now, you have one. You're probably not using a Golbat, but if you want to fill up your Pokedex, this is a good chance to get one. Don't recommend one. However, its evolution, I do recommend. It's very good. That's it. So, like I said, nothing that great, and uh, we'll be catching these just to fill our Pokedex. The Golbat and the Marowak, pretty easy, pretty easy to fix. Hmm. So, worth mentioning before we proceed is that you absolutely... 177% need strength. You need strength to get through Victory Road. Uh, we will be using a Max Repel, uh, just so that we're not fighting that many uh, Pokemon. So I'm going to go ahead and use that Max Repel right now. Uh, it's worth mentioning that you should probably stock up on them, which I did off screen, I believe. Um, I don't think I did that on screen. So we can't push this. If we push this, we're just going to get stuck. So no point in doing that. Right over here, uh, we need to get... So this is a long strength puzzle. We need to get this this rock right here, right? We need to get this one. We'll use Clefable, who can now use strength. We need to get this one all the way over there onto that little switch that you saw. So this is pretty much what this episode's going to be. I'm going to try to speed through it as much as I can. This first one is super easy to do. You just, you just, you just, and then boom switch now what that did is you'll actually see that right over here i'll use my item finder i know it's above me is it moved that little pillar thing that was blocking the way on this path above us so we can go ahead uh pop that it's actually the rock is is i'll show you i'll show you where this item is right there is a trainer that i didn't mean to battle but that's okay i wonder if you are good enough for me all right so these are going to be cool trainers they're going to have a lot of pokemon that we will be able to get a lot of experience for this is actually a very wonderful area to to level up um and, and train is in Victory Road itself. The Pokemon that you'll be finding here in the wild are very high level, and the Pokemon as well that you'll be fighting are very high level that the trainers have. So she had five Pokemon, so we got a lot of experience from her. Nothing that was totally new, um, but you'll start noticing that we are facing really cool Pokemon now, like Ninetales and Rapidash and, you know, evolved forms of Pokemon. That's awesome. Finally, there's another trainer right here, obviously. Uh, so we'll go ahead and fight him. I can see you're good. Let me see exactly how good. Rolando's going to fight. He's going to start with Eradicate. Uh, not as cool. A Charizard. That's the first Charizard that we've seen. This is actually a Pokemon that I don't want to stay in for. I'm going to switch to Luna, just because Luna's so tanky. Uh, I'm hoping that her strength will be able to kill uh, Moonlight. He's going to use a Hyper Potion, which I figured. So we'll go ahead, keep using our strength. Flamethrower? Ah, oh, I was hoping that he wasn't going to be able to get that flamethrower off. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and switch to Dragonair, even though it's not on our team at all. Oh, it died. Well, that's unfortunate. All right, we'll send out our own Bahamut. He'll use Slash, finish that Charizard. There we go. Uh, we're just going to stay in. He's got a War Turtle. We can finish that, hopefully, with a, uh, a couple Slashes there. And an Ivysaur. We've seen Ivysaur before, so let's just Flamethrower. Boom. And a Charmeleon. Uh, I'm curious how much Flamethrower will do. Uh, not that much, so we'll hit Wing Attack it to death. There we go, we got 1,512 Poké Dollars for winning. Uh, one second, I'm gonna heal my Pokémon. Okay, now that we've defeated him, we can continue on looking for stuff. Now, you are able to now move this boulder, uh, but we don't need to because the, the switch is already moved. Uh, there's no items right here, but there is an item right above us. I believe these are some TMs that we need to get. Alright, there is an item right up here. And it's right there. We'll get a full restore, which is wonderful. Uh, this is a weird. This is a weird spot, because no matter where we go, we're going to block out an item. So what we need to do is we'll block out that one first, and we'll pick up this one, which is a rare candy. Uh, we still haven't used our rare candies. I don't know if we will. We might, uh, just because we have them. So what we're going to do is go up here, use this ladder. And just pop right back down so that we can actually go get that other item. Uh, our repel did wear off, so let me just make sure that we are good to go. Uh, where is my max repels? We have so many, so I'm not worried about. I'm not worried about it. And obviously, I'll be catching the Pokemon that we can catch in this area off screen, even though um, they aren't exclusive to this area, so it's not a big deal. Go ahead, use Clefairy. And we'll get this item, which is a TMO2. It contains Dragon Claw. Uh, let's go ahead and actually so show Dragon Claw so you guys can see it. It is a pretty decent TM. It's one of the few uh, Dragon type moves. It is an 80 base power, 100, huge, uh, sharp, huge claws, hook and slash the foe quickly and with great power. It's a good uh, ability to have for Dragonite uh, if you have one on your team, which 
is incredible if you do. It's a very good Pokemon. It evolves at a very high level of 55. If you have one, congratulations. All right, now we got all the items on those. We can continue on to this floor. Uh, we're not going to push this boulder up because we won't be able to actually move it. Um, you know what? That's actually not true. I think what we can do is we can push this boulder. All right, and then we'll be able to move it later. And then obviously this boulder... Oh my god, if I was a little bit better at this game. So we need to want to push it there, and then just push it straight down. And right across. There we go. Easy peasy. I'll pop this item finder. I don't think there's anything there. Okay. And right there is an interesting thing. We can go ahead and talk to this guy. He is uh, a black belt Daisuke would like to battle. He's going to have a Machoke. Uh, we're going to use our own... Oh, great. Beautiful. Uh, he's going to switch. We're going to switch as well to Bahamut. Obviously, unfortunately for us, our Luna is not going to be able to do a lot of damage to any of these Pokemon. Um, but of course, our Luna hasn't been able to do much for a very long time, unfortunately. Uh, which, you know, I said when we picked up Clefairy is that it's not going to be that good. Right there we get TM37 Sandstorm, which works very well, by the way, with Sandshrew's ability Sandveil, which I talked about in its bio. Uh, it raises its evasion, which is, which is just super annoying, by the way, uh, to deal with. So there is another, there is another trainer right there, but more importantly, we need to grab this item right here, which is a full heal. Not the best, but worth it. Uh, and then we can go ahead and fight this trainer. Come on, I'll whip you. Uh, he's going to send out a Persian, level 44. Luckily for us, we'll be able to destroy it. And a Golduck. We are going to switch to Luna for this Golduck, just because we do, we've seen how bad uh, Golduck stats actually are. So we'll be able to take him out, get some experience on our Luna, make her a little bit better. And we'll go ahead and fight this guy as well. Is Victory Road hard for you? Uh, he's going to have a Mr. Mime. It's not great to use fighting type moves, but we'll be able to take him down, no problem. That's all he had. That was, uh... We haven't fought that many times. Hail will create, uh, like an ice storm. It's just like sandstorm except ice. And we have to actually knock a boulder down. So let's go ahead and use this ladder. Uh, and we'll get this item while we can because, obviously, I don't want to forget about it. We'll go ahead and fight this trainer. I heard rumors of a child prodigy. He's going to have a ton of Pokemon, including an Executor, uh, which I don't believe we, we, we have fought yet, if I'm not entirely mistaken. Uh, he's going to hit us with a sleep powder, which sucks. We're going to try to see what we can do. Obviously, not good to stay in. Um, I shouldn't have stayed in there at all. That was really stupid of me. Now we lost our fighting type. Uh, but we'll be able to... Uh, that hyper potion's going to hurt. All right. Not that bad. And Electrode. We know we can handle Electrode. Uh, so let's go ahead and take him down. And next is a Sand Slash. We're going to actually switch to Poseidon, who is going to be able to surf it to death as always. Uh, we'll get 33. Not that it matters. We're not actually using... Uh, we're actually going to switch to Bahamut on this. And I'm going to use Blast Burn. Just because I knew it was going to kill it. And it's going to send out its Arcanine. We are actually going to send out our Nidoking. Uh, because I know I know that that Earthquake can take it down. We'll get 3,000 Poké Dollars for that. And a Max Revive, which is amazing considering that our Hitmonlee uh, just bit the dust. So I'm actually going to heal my Pokémon real quick. Now, unless you took advantage of the Nugget Bridge trick early on in the game, like I did, uh, I don't suggest using all of your items as much as I am. TM50 is Overheat. That is a super powerful attack, however, uh, fire attack. However, it will actually use, uh, this boulder actually needs to be moved to that switch that we just saw. Uh, overheat will lower your special attack, so it's kind of like a, a use it and switch, or use it and, and kill and leave. Um... Is pretty much what that is. So we push this boulder all the way over here. We need to push it right here. Okay. And then down. And then right on the switch. There we go. Nope. No response. Okay. Oh, God. I'm stuck. Okay. Repels effect. War off. Let me switch that so we can get that up. So victory road is pretty long. And uh, when I was younger, it was very hard. It was a very hard dungeon. Uh, as it should be, you know what I mean? It's it's the very last dungeon of the game. Of course it's going to be challenging. Obviously, we can't go down there just yet. We can fight this trainer. Trainers, this is going to be cool trainer Alexa, who's going to have a ton of Pokemon. This Clefairy will be able to take down no problem. She's going to switch into Dugong. We are actually going to switch to uh, Luna, just because we've seen Dugong's stats. We know how bad it is. Um, and, of course, it has Rest. There's no PP left for that move, so we actually can't keep using um, her, which is too bad. We'll switch to Bruce. And we'll brick break. 
and it'll die and we'll hit level 51 it's going to learn uh, reversal if we go ahead and look at reversal we will see that it is an all-out attack that becomes more powerful the less the HP uh, less HP the user has uh, we're not going to use that because um, it's so low that's not gonna matter and Luna did hit level 44 which is good uh, anything to help it kind of get more levels so a Jigglypuff is gonna come out we'll Wow, we are we are running out of PP already. Uh, a Persian is going to come out now. We're going to be able to take that out, no problem. She's got a lot of normal type Pokemon, which is... Uh, and a Chansey! Oh, poor Chansey. So much experience, though, from killing a Chansey. So much experience. So we'll come down here, grab these trainers that we can fight. Uh, I don't think there's any items. All right, she's got uh, five trainers as well, so we'll just... There's no PP. I keep trying to do that. Oh, we keep getting... Either we keep getting the low end or we keep getting the high end. Uh, I actually should switch out and a victory bell so I meant to I meant to switch out that's fine uh, we'll use high jump kick high jump kick again nope it hurt us okay so now we need to switch out we'll switch out to Bahamut who obviously anything that I, Bahamut has will crush a victory bell level 51 on Bahamut that's great uh, a parasect is gonna come out that's unfortunate you have good Pokemon kind of uh, and then you have a Paris and a parasect it's like oh okay you're, you're a cool trainer? I don't think about that. All right, and this guy's also going to have a ton of Pokemon. Uh, we're going to use Rolling Kick. Honestly, I don't really want to die. So let's switch to Luna. Even though we know that its attack stat is huge, it's not going to be able to... Oh, right. I forgot Luna doesn't actually have any moves to be able to use. So this was an unfortunate turn of events. Uh, we'll use Slash, even though his defense is really high. You know what? We should use Flamethrower because it will actually do more damage. Uh, his Poliwhirl is going to come out. We are going to use Slash because we know that Slash has a high crit chance. And a Tentacruel. Uh, we'll be able to use Blast Burn. I was hoping that Blast Burn would do a lot more damage. And it will be able to take out his Tentacruel. He's going to switch to Seedra. We're going to switch to uh, our Topher. Even though not the best idea. But uh, Shadow Ball will be able to hopefully two-hit KO it. Nope, looks like I'm wrong. That's unfortunate. Uh, and it's not even going to be a four-hit KO, which is which is too bad. Yes, it was. It was a four-hit KO. And a Blastoise, uh, which we are going to stay in on. Now, you will notice that I don't have Raichu in my party. Uh, that is simply because I it was using Dragonair. Probably not the best idea. Um, I wouldn't suggest that. This is the final dungeon, so trainers are going to be challenging. Um, but I was feeling... I was feel Oh, no! I didn't mean to do that. Didn't mean to do that. At all. But that's fine. We can go use this. Uh, we can go push this. Take care of that right onto the switch and then obviously we will now have access to this right here now this if i'm not mistaken is a bird trainer so it would actually have been useful to have um to have our dear old raichu with us oh no it's a juggle juggler i'm sorry my bad uh we'll go ahead and use bite because it's special in this game uh it's going to send out a hypno we'll use bite again take him out dragonair's level 36 not that that matters take out his kadabra he's got another kadabra which we'll take out again uh, and there we go. We beat him and got a ton of exper uh, a ton of money because we have the amulet coin on our Vaporeon. Uh, right here is a uh, double battle, if I'm not mistaken. So we want to make sure that Luna... Okay. All right. Let's try this. Together, the two of us are destined for greatness. All right. Ray and Tyra. Uh, all right. So we'll use Surf and we will use Cosmic Power. Um, I was going to say... Oh, oh, oh. We'll use Surf again and Cosmic Power. Down they go. Uh, Nidoking King somehow sir. Oh, I was using Bite! I was using Bite. My bad, my bad. My bad. Alright, we got 4,320 Poké Dollars for winning. That's the kind of thing that I like about double battles in this game, is um, they're really easy. Because they're just the two Pokémon and then you're done. Alright, so that was where we just dropped down, which we didn't want to do. We want to come up here. And uh, this, is, this was the shortcut from before. So, you'll... Yeah. So remember, we weren't able to come down, and then we saw that. Uh, there are some things that I want to make sure that we get. I'm going to use that Max Repel. Okay. Uh, this this went... We already moved that, so I don't think I don't think that matters. Where to use that to lower this switch? If we go down here, uh, we can fight this guy. But more importantly than that, we can get this, which is a guard spec. This is actually, uh, if I'm not mistaken, this is where Moltres was in the original game. Because Mount Ember wasn't there. Um, it was obviously just uh, uh, Victory Road. Moltres was on Victory Road, making it the last legendary you could find. All right, so we are going to defeat the... Oh, wow, we're easily going to defeat his uh, Chameleon. 
He's got a Lapras. We're going to bite it. Not the best, but uh, obviously our, our Lapras is so strong. Uh, we are going to die. So let's stay in here. Let's surf. Okay, good. Woo, that was scary. It's trying to learn Hydro Pump, which is its most powerful. Uh, a high volume of water is blasted at the foe under great pressure. Uh, I will actually get rid of... You know what? You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep Surf. I'm gonna keep Surf. Yes. Anything that we are going to attack is going to die to Surf, no matter what. So, not a big deal. Uh, I am regretting having the, the Dragonair with us instead of the Raichu. That is something that I'm definitely regretting. Alright, so that will just lead us there. And then, I'm pretty sure that we already got that switch. I'm Like, we opened the way, so we don't need to do it again. And we already did this. So we want to use... Now we want to... Uh, well, we screwed up, basically. We have to go around now. We already went down here. I'll just show that we went down here, right? Yeah, we fought this guy, we fought that guy. Okay, I want to make sure that I don't miss anything, because... This is a big dungeon. It's easy It's easy to get yourself kind of confused. There's not that many floors, but it's a big, it's a big, big place. All right, we'll go ahead, use our max repel. Obviously, this video is gonna be kind of long, um, but that's that's what we get when we do when we do an entire dungeon video, you know? All right, so we have to drop down here to use the ladder. Not a huge issue. We've done, we've already come up here. We've already fought this guy. Friesen also came through here, apparently. Interesting. All right, now we can use the ladder that's behind these guys and fight. Oh, not fight this guy. You should be proud of yourself having battles your way through victory roads so courageously. In recognition of your feet, I'll teach you double edge. Double edge is a wonderful, wonderful move. Uh, if we actually look at who should learn double edge. Let's look at Bruce to learn double edge. Yes. Which move should be forgotten? Literally doesn't matter. Any of them. We look at double edge. It is a 120 base power move. Normal. A reckless life. It will hurt you, but it also does tremendous damage. So we will actually get rid of uh, rolling kick for that. It may make the flow foe flinch. Um, you know what? Let's actually get rid of... Let's get rid of rolling kick. I, I, I don't think we've gotten that many flinches from it. We'll learn double edge instead. It'll just make sure that we hit things that resist fighting a little bit harder all right now we can leave here there we go victory road it's done we're back on route 23 and uh, and ahead of us i'm gonna go ahead there is an item right here i want to make sure that we get all all this all this jazz that we can get we found a lumberry that cures paralysis if i'm not mistaken now this is a this is a weird little thing it's not actually like a not actually like a it's kind of a puzzle but not really it's a weird, it's a weird thing. It's a weird thing. So, I'm pretty sure there's an item right... No? We have to go all the way to the other side. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this item. I'm gonna get this item. Don't you, don't you worry your pretty little head. Okay, I'm pretty sure it's either right here or right here. There we go, we got a max elixir. I was like, I know, I know it's a decent item. And a max elixir is very good. Very good. So if your Pokemon are hurting, uh, don't worry. There's a, a beautiful Indigo Plateau, baby. Now, if you're wondering about those Rhydon statues that you see all over the place, that's actually because Rhydon and, uh, I want to say Clefairy were the two Pokemon that were, uh, the first Pokemon ever created. The first concept art was of Rhydon and Clefairy. At the Pokemon League, you will face the Elite Four all in a row. If you lose, you'll have to start over again. This is it. Go for it. Let's heal our Pokemon. Okay. There's also a Mart in here, so you are able to buy items and whatnot that you might need, which we uh, will be doing. Right here, of course, is uh, a regular Mart. I suggest stocking up on full restores and revives. Anything else is not totally needed. Why Why spend uh, $500 less for a Max Potion when you can just get a full restore? So, in the next video, we're going to beat the damn game. We're gonna beat the damn game. And I'm really excited. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if Victory Road has been challenging for you in the past. It's definitely been challenging for me, but this time, I think we got through it okay. Remember everybody, never give up, never surrender.